OK, so we need to go back down on memory lane, right? Again, I'm talking about this factoring. It's very, very important for us to remember all of our factoring rules. Um, because it gets pretty important, because we look at this and we say, all right, I can't factor out anything on my numerator or my denominator. They don't share anything. Um, I'm looking, I have two binomials. So as far as any kind of trinomials, uh, there's no factoring techniques that I'm going to be able to use. But automatically, when we're looking at a binomial, I always look at, you know, can I factor out GCF or can I use the difference of two squares? Well. This x cubed is not a, a square number. 64 is a square number, but x cubed is not. So I can't use the difference of two squares. But a long uh, forgotten factoring technique that we uh, have talked about, but we, don't, we a lot of times forget because it doesn't come up all that often, is the difference of two cubes. So we need to determine, is x cubed a cubed number? So let's go and read and rewrite it over here. So x cubed minus 64. Can I rewrite x cubed as a cubed number? Of course we can. We can write it as x cubed. And then can I write 64 as a cubed number? And in, in this case, yes, you can. That can be rewritten as 4 cubed. So there's a special rule that we have when we have a cubed minus b cubed. Just like when we had a squared minus b squared was a plus b times a minus b, we can factor when we have a difference of two cubes. So the factoring of different two cubes in this format is a minus b times a squared plus ab plus b squared. All right, so that's going to be my factored form. So now, in this case, all I need to determine and say, all right, well, therefore, I can say x equals a and b. I'm sorry. Yes, x, all right, a equals x, and then b equals 4. So now what I'm going to do is I'm just going to pretty much rewrite this back into this format. So therefore, I'll have x minus 4 times x squared plus x times 4 plus 4 squared. All right. Now, I can simplify this a little bit further. And I'll just kind of rewrite over here a little bit. So let me just rewrite just in case I can't see off my video if I wrote it off there. All right, so now let's go and simplify this. I can't simplify the x minus 4, but I can simplify this as x squared. Well, let's write the constant, our, our integer before our variable. So that'd be plus a 4x. And then 4 squared, we know, is 16. So now, if I rewrite my rational expression, I have x minus 4 divided by x minus 4 over x squared plus 4x plus 16. All right, now notice we have a binomial times a trinomial. These are two separate terms that are being multiplied. Don't worry about what's inside uh, their parentheses. We can, don't worry about this as addition because what we're doing is we're separating amongst my multiplication. And since I notice that among that multiplication, I have x minus 4 divided by x minus 4, we know that can be divided into 1. So therefore, I'm left with a final rational expression of 1, because x minus 4 it's still going to be times 1, where we could break this up across our multiplication, is we 1 over x squared plus 4x plus 16. And that's going to be your final simplified rational expression. Thanks.